we, we've talked a lot about hill country on this show. What's is like the biggest difference between hill country and mountain terrain in your mind, Paul? Um, I'm going to say the there's layers going up. So mm. like you, you'll get multiple bedding at different elevations as you go up a lot more than like traditional hills are going to be lower because like a hill's like usually under a thousand foot. Yeah. So you'll, you'll get the upper one third more in the hills versus the mountain. You can have those leeward ridges on multiple layers going up off the benches and stuff like that. So it doesn't, yeah. doesn't necessarily mean they're going to be all at one height. And then like, depending on temperatures and how wet and dr droughts or something will change how the the like the height they're going to be using the hills at. Yeah. See, I've, I've heard other people that hunt mountains talk about that. Like you got to find what elevation they're going to be at. Mm -hmm. And I, and like me in Southern Indiana, you know, we have a lot of hills here and I've always like tried to like figure out what that meant for me hunting Southern Indiana, but it probably doesn't mean anything for me, you know? <laughs> yeah. And um, you'll see the historical sign still like, like you'll, you get like on the upper one third on a mountain, you'll see the, the historical rub lines and you'll go up these mountains and you'll find elevation lines where you'll find that historical sign on, you know, so be, it kind of and, tells you what layers are at. Gotcha. A lot. And so, so they will be on those particular layers, like at certain times of the year then. Yes. Yeah. Depending on food changes and stuff like that. You know, some, some years there'll be acorns all on the top. Some years will only be on the bottom. Some years will only be mid elevation. Sometimes they're only on the northern sides of the mountains. Like if you get a lot of droughts and stuff, like when it's really dry, it seems like the northern sides of the mountains are what produce the most acorns because the, the, the moisture level in the soil is a little higher there. Gotcha. So, you know, so they'll shift around like that. Yeah. Okay. That kind of clears things up for me because I was always kind of wondering what that actually actually meant. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway. I think to me, one of, the, one of the big things about uh, mountains versus hills is in hills, it's usually one hill after another. And you have a variety of um, hills where you something's leeward. You, mm -hmm. you, you know what I'm saying? Where you can get into mountainous stuff and you can have a mountain that's obviously got deer on it all over the place. Yeah. That none of it's leeward. And they got to find ways to to um, catch the wind off of there. And then you see them using a lot more of the um, points and the little uh, terrain holes in the um, yep. in the hill. Yeah, um, yeah. You use that to get the swirl. You know, they'll right. like right. a lot of the big bucks. Like around me, they'll build. I got a lot of big bucks that are on the northern sides. It's like their favorite side to be on. They'll be like they'll work the northern edge, and then they'll work like use the east face, so they can kind of rotate around it as the the sun comes up if they want to cool down they'll kind of work their way to the north side you know but they'll they usually focus around like drainages and stuff like that where you get that airflow coming up real real good and then they'll put themselves on a on a vantage point up there with the terrain like where they can get a good swirl yep you know and then you'll you, like you'll find that all the way up the whole drainage, you'll find different layers where they'll be bedding on that. Hmm. I would imagine they use that mountain laurel kind of like they use uh, a clear cut or something too. They, the mm -hmm. edges, and the little little openings in it and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And on the northern faces, predominantly, that's where you see the mountain laurel growing. Oh, that's probably why you're seeing more deer on that side. Yeah. I think the cover, right? Does help. Yeah. The cover helps a lot with that. But I mean, you'll see does and stuff like if it's really cold in the winter time, they'll go over and get on the southern side because they got to stay warm, mm -hmm. you know, so they'll get on that side of the mountain. Or if it's like if you get really crazy wind days, they're going to figure out a way to get out of the wind. Yeah. You know, it doesn't doesn't always necessarily mean they switch completely over, but like you'll yeah, find, find like they find dips and drops where they can get underneath mm -hmm. it. If you want to watch more videos, there's options here and here. And if you want to subscribe, you can just click right here.